Hundreds of third-party electricity customers have logged complaints that they got bills for January that were over the top. I thought there was some type of computer error. I couldn't believe the, the amounts. Robert Rashkes was charged more than two times his normal bill and more than two times what PSENG would charge him when he was their customer. But a year ago, he made the switch to a company called Systrom Energy. They're based here in Fairview, New Jersey, and advertise 5 to 10 percent lower electricity rates than what the bigger utilities offer, like PSENG, JCPNL, and others. When the price spiked, People got their bill and they went, oh my God. Bottom line on it was that the cost of energy production was very, very high. Two customers are now suing this third party provider, alleging Systrom falsely represented that its energy pricing would provide savings over the local utilities, and that Systrom engaged in other misleading and deceptive conduct, resulting in consumers significantly overpaying for energy. If the case reaches class action status, thousands of Systrom customers could be impacted. But Gibbons compares this to blaming the gas station attendant for the cost of your gas. We do believe that over the period of a 12-month, normal 12-month cycle, that you're going to save at least 5 to 10 percent. Absolutely. That's the way historical data has indicated. Historical data never included the Arctic vortex that we all got hit with. But Gibbons compares this to blaming the gas station attendant for the cost of your gas. He says the raw cost of energy shot up from a little more than a nickel to a quarter per kilowatt when the polar vortex rolled into town. The lasting low temperatures spiking the cost of energy on what's called the spot electrical market. Like the stock or commodity markets, that's where Systrom buys its electricity. So when the market goes up, the company and its customers will feel the pinch, which is why Systrom has turned most of its customers, about 80 to 90 percent of them, back over to traditional energy providers like PSENG until the market stabilizes. We're moving them over to protect them. We don't want them to have a bill. We don't make a lot of money when it goes up like that. The question lies in whether Systrom fairly told customers what they were getting themselves into. As for Mr. Rashkis, he has decided to switch back to his traditional provider, PSENG. He says third-party electricity is too volatile of a market for him. In West Orange, I'm Christy Duffy, NJTV News.